so, um, oops. Yeah, I've kind of been busy today and then I got home and I was talking to my housemates for like hours and then I forgot to make a video and it's now three minutes past midnight of Saturday morning. So if you want to punish me for this video being a day late, I am very sorry. I'm sorry that your exam results weren't the ones that you were, you know, hoping for, but I am glad that you have got head on and looking towards you know, making your exams in summer a lot better. Um, yeah, it makes you feel any better. I got my exam results the other day and they weren't exactly what I was hoping for either. I passed Japanese, which is good, but you know, considering it was like just a scrape, um, I have a lot to work towards. A lot of stuff I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna spend the entire Easter, I think, sat in the library, revising. Yay, fun, fun times. I would join you on those revisions. Eh. Eh. I discovered that I have a test on my birthday. Woo. Which is fun. Oh, and incidentally, the next time you see me on the internet will be on my birthday. Although, you know, I look forward to seeing you in about 12 hours. Because, yeah, you're going to come down. Um, and, yeah, that'll be fun. And then I'm going to see Dad as well in the evening because he said he's going to come down. So, yay! All of the fun times and presents and yeah. In news is going to be happening at the weekend. This weekend is Japan Day and you know I ran that last year. But yeah, this year we're just performing in it so I'm going to be dancing at Japan Day on Sunday which is going to be really fun. Yay. It'll be really good to not have to stress about organising it and to like just perform <laughs> and just dance. And then we get to have sushi too for lunch because yeah, sushi's awesome and I haven't had it in ages and I look forward to actually eating lunch this time. Yay. Oh, and taiko. I love taiko drums so much. So, so, so much. So I'm really looking forward to Japan Day. I was thinking that we should think more of like a schedule for the channel. Let me know if there's anything you wanted to do. So we said that Mondays were going to be challenge days. If there's any other ideas that you have for the rest of the week, then do let me know and I also approve of our idea that we've been discussing about having the facts of each month themed. I guess this month is kind of space because we've been doing those for the past few days. So I say this month is space. And in keeping with the theme, uh, my fact is that if two pieces of metal meet and touch in space they will forever be connected. Isn't that nice? I think we should send up like half hearts and then hopefully they'll, they'll join and make little hearts in the sky and then all the aliens will think that we love them. Yay! Potential suggestion as something to do in the week that I've literally just thought of now. Um, potentially we do like a news video once a week and we find our favourite piece of news from the week and then we discuss it or you know we chat about it or whatever. You find you know a piece of news that you found interesting or that you really like or you're angry with and yeah I don't know we'll have to pick a day for it but I, I, I kind of like the idea. I think it would be fun. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's only because the news about North Korea today just... Oh. North Korea just needs to lay. Dude. Play nicely. God. Anyways, I better go and edit this because then I can go to sleep. Not quite sure if I'll be on my actual duvet because my stuff is all in the dryer and I don't know when it's going to finish. <sighs> it's going to be a fun, itchy night's sleep. Yay. Bye. <laughs>